So what we're playing right now, over here on my right, if uh, you'll switch over the camera on the right down here next to me, we have two comp 12 inch woofers, comp C 12 inch woofers. They are in one and a half cubic foot sealed a piece. So pretty common enclosure. Just, you know, but if you notice by the lines in the center, that box does have a divider down the center. All right, so what we've done is I've stored that in the first preset memory on the cube. And uh, Ernie, if you could show them, or Tim, show them what the uh, RTA is reading right now. So it looks like, now that I can read it, since I can see the camera, we got about 94 to 95 dB in output. So now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to disconnect one of these woofers, and these are in their own separate sealed chambers. So go ahead and cut back to the RTA, Ernie, if you wouldn't mind. Now you can see the frequency response in the RTA. We've disconnected one of the woofers, and I'm going to shut up again and let this thing uh, stabilize. I'm going to store that in two. Now if you notice from looking at the graphs, they look pretty similar. Obviously, the second graph is down. Each one of these divisions is 5 dB. And let's see the uh, RTA, or the, uh, the decibel meter. So we're down to 89 to 90 dB, which is exactly what we would expect. We, we disconnected one of the woofers. Well, that's half the cone area, and the amplifier is not playing it in parallel, so it's going to be half the voltage, half the wattage, essentially. So that would be about a 6 dB decrease in output by disconnecting one woofer. That's what's going to happen if you've got a woofer that quits playing. But keep in mind that they're both in their own individual sealed chambers, and that's why the frequency response looks almost identical. It's just not as much of output. So here again, this is by having the divider in the enclosure. So if we remember, and I'm not touching any of the settings you know, as far as uh, the paint noise volume, we're going to leave it exactly the same. But what I'm going to do now is we're going to go hook up the enclosure that has no divider. So bear with me for a moment, guys. So I don't know if you guys paid much attention to this, but if you notice the tape marks, this box is a little bit smaller than the other box. The outer dimensions, the, the height and the, length, height and the uh, depth are exactly the same as the other box, but this box is three quarters of an inch narrower. Why is that? Because we don't have a divider down the middle. So I've made sure the boxes are exactly the same volume. So let's turn on the pink noise again. Start the RTA. Uh, quick question, can you guys see the, uh, the uh, output level? 95 dB. So if you guys remember, with the divider in place, it was 95 dB, almost no difference in output. So the box does not play louder with the divider. And that's one of the things I've heard for many years, you take the divider out of the box, it plays louder. Well, physics should tell you that it's probably not gonna do that because you're not increasing the power and you're not increasing the cone area. So if the woofers were exactly matched, you should have exactly the same frequency response, which is pretty much what we have here by the RTA.